I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. Rip day. Sons of Sam, welcome back for another episode. Coming through. Have we ever made ribs? I've never made ribs. Have you made ribs? That's why we're here, baby. We're making ribs today. If we can do it, Lord knows you can too. We're learning together. Yes, we are. So we, Jordan and I have gotten another fight today, but we worked it out before the cameras even started rolling, before we even got to the set today. We're here working. We don't, how it's all long, brotherly How love. long were you silent in the car before you finally started talking? A good 45 minutes. <laughs> it wasn't that long. Maybe 30 minutes. Maybe 35, maybe 45 minutes. <laughs> it was an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Who broke it? You did. The older one. The bigger man. Okay, well, here we go. Exciting day. We, uh, pork loin, back ribs. Baby back ribs, baby. We got three racks of ribs in here doing ribs. How many different ways, Zach? Three different ways, Jordan. How are we cooking these ribs today, Zach? On a barbecue, but not just any barbecue. What are you talking about? You want me to get into this? Come on. All right, let's show Break it down. Say hello to our monument grill. You are looking at the 2024 flagship Denali 605 Pro. Here we have a searing station, high performance, 12,000 BTUs with a ceramic infrared sear burner. Stainless steel grates, of course. One of my all time favorite parts of this barbecue, the clear view lid, baby. Extra large viewing area. It is 205 square inches of safe and heat resistant glass. No need to open your lid, just look right through. Feeling like steak and eggs on a Sunday morning? No need to cook those eggs inside. Switch it out with the heavy duty porcelain enameled cast iron cooking grate for improved heat distribution and easy cleaning. Bad back? We've got the Easy Swap propane tray for you, built in with a sliding rack for easy propane take replacement. Never overcook a steak again with the temperature display and Bluetooth control using the Monument Grills app. Want to impress your girlfriend? Use the rotisserie kit with two pairs of meat forks included in the purchase. We just want to give Monument Grills a big shout out. First sponsor on the channel. We really appreciate your support. Honestly, uh, wouldn't be possible without you guys today. Um, we love the grill. We love you guys. But more importantly, wouldn't be possible without you guys. Keep commenting, keep liking, keep subscribing. This is what we're doing this for. We're sons of Sam, we're brothers, and uh, we're here to have some fun. So with that in mind, let's cook some ribs, baby. Let's do this. Come on. You, at this point, should know I like to go a little crazy at times. So I'm cooking ribs two different ways. There's many ways to cook ribs. You can smoke your ribs. Some people boil the ribs. Um, boil? As, as the big man OG says, we don't do that because... Boil? Yeah, it's going to take away all the flavor. So we're not boiling. You can smoke. You can... Yeah, if you're boiling your ribs, you should not be. You I should. was born with a boil on my forehead. And I had to get it removed. And now there's a big scar right here. It was. Come on, where yeah, is it? A boil is a bad name for it. We called it a strawberry. Where is but it? But listen, there's many ways to cook ribs. <laughs> Today, we're showcasing a couple different ways. I am going to cut take mine cut, and open those start up. in the oven. I'm doing one with a dry rub on it and one without. And then they're going to get a little sauce on top when we finish on our brand new Monument Denali 605 Pro. I am going all barbecue, baby. Here's what we're going to do. Low and slow on the barbecue. Low and yeah. slow on the barbecue. Dry rub, cumin, paprika, chipotle, chili powder, salt, pepper, garlic powder. That's going on. On the bottom of my tray here, we're gonna do chicken broth and vinegar, and then cook that. So indirect heat. One half of the grill is gonna be flames on. Our ribs are gonna cook on the other one for about two hours. Pull those off, slather that with barbecue sauce, then put them right on the grill. Zach's not the only one that can talk about what he's putting on his ribs. My first rack, directly in the pan. No dry rub, little bit of white vinegar, distilled white vinegar. Look at the big man's videos and he talks about the benefits of that. My second one is getting a nice dry rub. They're here to watch with our some videos. Five spice, with some onion, with some garlic, and then a little bit of super secret mother-in-law's gochujang chili crunch flakes. Yeah. That's my little surprise, Zach doesn't know about that. And on top, we're doing a little bit of hoisin and truffle on that one. On the other one, we're doing a little bit of syrup, barbecue sauce, and what else? And, my, and brown sugar. And I forgot one thing. Sugar. I forgot one thing. I forgot two things, actually. One, there is brown sugar 
in my spice mix right here. And then two before this goes on, we're gonna coat it with some yellow mustard. It's gonna be good. You look a little yellow right now. Don't fucking start with me. Number one thing to do. I got mustard going on. I'm gonna secretly, come here real quick. There's no membrane, I don't think. He knows about the membrane. He's going to unsheath his membrane? Hey, right, there's no membrane. <laughs> Damn, I love the membrane. That's my favorite part. <laughs> there's, a, there, there's always a chance that we are wrong here. Like we said, it's our first time making ribs. What better time to make these ribs, these ribs, with you guys on our new Monument Grill Denali Pro? Yo, you took the better racks. What are you talking about? We got the same racks. You got the better racks. You picked two and then left me one when it should have been one, one, one. Okay, I'll trade you that one. Okay, I want that one. No, that's mine, for sure. That one is a you thousand percent mine. And I'll slap you with my rib hand if you try and take it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna put some mustard on. Just a nice, even coat. Don't be afraid to use your hands. Nice and even. Hey, do I put it on the bottom, do you think? Mustard? No. Okay, both sides get the mustard. But let's now talk about why you're mustarding both sides. Is it because I told him to? It's because you told him to. But no, I was going to do it either way. I was going to season the bottom side of his ribs. Pepper towel me, please. Pepper towel? Pepper towel! Why do you need that? Why am Just I Just because I want to I wanna dry this off one more oh, time. Oh, I already did that. I did mine on the top, too. Take my rib. No. More mustard. Gross. All over. Rubber in, nooks and crannies. You want that flavor everywhere. It's more of just a binding agent, so. No, it's both. It's yeah. a binding agent and flavor. Those globs over there? Okay, I don't want you I, talking I'm when sorry. I'm doing my ribs, so Get the hell away from me. And then we're gonna wash my hand quick. Oh yeah, you know what? I'm not on a timer right now. You're not. I could probably do the Macarena. Hey, Macarena, Macarena, Macarena. Hey, hey Macarena, Macarena, Macarena. You hey, know, Macarena. I love a little. I don't think I know how to do the Macarena. Hey, Macarena. Hey, Macarena, Macarena, Macarena. Hey, hey, okay, mustard down. You were right, you didn't know how to do it. You forgot a couple steps. Dry oh, rub on this. Wait, pause for one second. I'm not trying to interrupt you. I just want to make a comment. That color is one of my favorite color sands. <laughs> top five sands? <laughs> and my, maybe top, one of his favorites. Maybe top three. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'd say top three. My lovely wife's brother, he brought us back some red sand from Sedona. He knows we like sand, so we brought some, and it's that same color red. It's really nice. There's a lot of flavor in here, too. I've always wanted to go to Sedona. Yeah, well, maybe we'll cook an episode if somebody <laughs> wants to... We'll cook an episode of Sedona? Yeah. <laughs> I'll cook some Sedona. Okay. Oh, wow, look at those beauties. You guys, it's really, 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 really easy. Again, never done this before. <laughs> so we'll see how easy it is and how they come out. And then we're gonna do a half a cup of chicken stock. Is that chicken stock? Bone broth. Wait, this is Zach's secret trick and I I'm kind of thinking that this could take these ribs to an entirely new level. You know I'm always thinking outside of the box. I'm more of a outside of the box kind of guy. I mean, I'm working with a bulging disc. Oh, oh no. <laughs> You say you're working with a bulging disc? Yeah, I Is got that a... something with your back. Yeah. <laughs> do you guys? That's do what I? She said I'm working with a bulging disc. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna do one thing real quick. What? <laughs> I'm just gonna get rid of my excess. You're so lucky you have the time right now. This. Zach, you're acting like you've never cooked ribs before. Oh wait, you haven't. Chicken stock down. Oh. Hey Jordan, will you pass me the vinegar, please? You want me to think open it about for you? how the flavor that's. I'm gonna do. Recipe calls for a half a cup. I'm gonna go rogue. I'm gonna do about four times that. A what? vinegar? No, I'm just, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was like, what the fuck? And then a quarter cup of vinegar. We don't measure in this family, Zach. That's it. I'm gonna cover this in foil, put it on indirect heat at about 300 degrees on our beautiful Denali 605 Pro, Shh. and then cook that for about two hours, and then we'll be back to see. Shh. Come on. My turn, baby. Let's go. First off, we just need to make a quick little seasoning, easily accessible on the Cooking Guys website. So we're gonna start out with five spice. This is something I'll be adding to my spice cabinet. Smell it. The anise, if that's what it is. It just smells great, I love it. The so let's the, start out, we're going. The what? Anise. Spell it. Anise. Spell that. <laughs> Jordan, 
Why is this so tricky? Okay, that's good enough. Uh oh, as I said, I don't measure. Zach, please go grab me the. Uh, no, I have to do foil and put my, bar my ribs on. You know, as I said, don't. Uh, what was? What did you just put in there? Talk to us. Oh, that was um, that was garlic. Uh, garlic salt, and now we're going onion, brown sugar. You know, they had dark. I don't really know what the difference is. Dark is just a little more intimidating, so I'm not gonna mess with that right now. Um, quick, grab me some salt, please. We're freaking brothers. Go get salt. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> also, this is very close to another favorite color, sand. <laughs> <laughs> we like sand and rocks, um, and that right there is a beautiful color. I okay. love a black sand beach. Yeah, just kind of rare. It is rare. I like peach sand. Okay. <laughs> Himalayan sea salt sand. I don't know where Max got these ribs. This one is friggin' gorgeous. And this one looks a little freaky, so we're, should I cover the freaky? No, we're gonna cover the beautiful one. Fucking Costco, come on. You know, Costco is intimidating. Too intimidating for me. Really? The last time I went in there, I wanted to You're walk out of there. You're not gonna put oil or anything on that? You know, I don't know if there's a chance I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> no going back. No. Well, wow, that smells like five spice only. Did you add the anus? Yeah, I did. What are you talking about? The anus is in the five spice. <laughs> That's what makes the five spice. All right. Well, there's four other spices you're oh, using. These are going in the oven, so I feel like he's probably okay without the anus. The oil. I'm going to send a photo to dad and then tell him that you didn't do. We're going to get the big man on the phone. Okay, and now check this out real fast. I have to let you know you're live on tape. Okay, do you acknowledge this? Okay, I, I just want to show you what your middle child is doing and it's going to tarnish your reputation. He's coating his ribs in his seasoning lightly, I might add, but there's no mustard, oil, It's called a binding agent, you Anything idiot. underneath this seasoning. Gosh, Zach. All right, I'm picking up. I'm taking the last of my seasoning. Get him off the phone. Here's my beautiful thing. Whisper it. Okay, you're off. Cameras are off. OG's a man of the people. <laughs> I don't believe it. Half the thing you tell me. But... All right. Well, we'll... Uh... I've, been worked be I've been worked before by you. I'm not getting sucked in. <laughs> in about two and a half hours, we'll call you back. Can't wait. Goodbye. Love you. Bye. All right. All right. Taking a little bit longer than expected, but look at this. This is the move right here. You got to throw it on that side just to make sure it sticks. And what's going on with this one? That's your Asian? You'll see... No, Zach, the five spice is the Asian. Oh, you're doing your syrup get down on that. No, just wait, Zach. Second part is we're going that much right there, that much right there, and then we're going that much right there, and we're going that much right there, and maybe just that and a little bit of that. Have a sip. Okay, and now, oh shit, hold on, I gotta go grab downstairs to grab something. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> <He's actually going> <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we wrap. Now we wait. You're. Never mind. What? N nothing. I you know what I'm doing. You're going that way. You went the, the other way? way. I went the other way. I went the long way. <laughs> God. Oh no. I'm really second guessing. It's raining it's here, folks. It matters. <laughs> Max, everything matters. Do you know I read a blog post today about. The way you rap. Except, look at this. What is that? <laughs> he read a blog post about how to rap. I was just kidding. Jordan, show everyone your beatbox skills. <laughs> I made that one when I was very young. And Zach's just jealous. <laughs> just like that. These are going in the oven. Got it preheating to... 350. We're gonna judge it. We're gonna let it go about an hour. I'll slap Zach, test him out, and if they're ready, they're ready. Another slap. Yours on the grill? They're going on. Ready Two hours. Go. Check them in 90 minutes, and then we'll see. Ready to go. All right. Do it. Who's gonna win? Like I said, indirect heat. These three burners are going right now. This is off. We're gonna slide these right here on this side. Make sure it's all wrapped nicely. Shut the grill, come back in 90 minutes, see how they look. I put mine in. <laughs>
<laughs> Look at this window. I can see. When I pull that foil off, we're gonna finish them on the on the grates, and we'll be able to see them cooking right through that. I can't wait. The window is so. The sick. window is technology like I've never seen it before. This is very advanced. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, shit, I need a second. Uh, <laughs> Just like we're back. All right, we're on. We're back, baby. It's uh, it's been an hour and some change. Uh, we're hungry. Let's go check these ribs. Hour and some change. I think closer to an hour and a half. So starting off with those in the oven. Oh my god, that was a big heat blast to my face. Oh my god. Why does this go like two different kinds of sliding flavors in there? Big oh, because you're doing two different kinds of ribs in the same oven. Heck. <laughs> Shut up. You got a heckler. You're bringing it um, up. Yeah, bring it up. I know, I, I can't. I guess we'll do one. Or do you, want to, what, do you want to grab both? No, yeah, grab okay. the other one for him. I got no mitts on. <laughs> Oh yeah, you don't even need the mitts. Here, just hold it here. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, alright, just put it down and go back to the other one. I believe this is the one with the five spice. Ooh! Oh my god. It looks you beautiful. Touch it, touch it. Here's a the thermometer. If you want it. That always touches it. Well, if that touches it, I won't touch it. Touch it. Yep, you're good. <laughs> I the don't touch know. test? Just like that? I don't know. I don't know, give me the thermometer. Do you know how hot you want yours? I got no idea. I know idea. how hot I want mine. How hot do you want yours? I'm <laughs> telling you. I did something <laughs> for you. Let me just see and I'll give you a hint. I did hint. something for you and you have to do something for me. Oh my god, overcooked. What's it supposed to be? I'm going for between 180 and 190. Alright, well I'm taking these off right fucking now. Max, let's go. Do you want to come check mine while yeah. he gets his others? Alright, let's check these bad boys out. Oh god, you're fucking dripping! Oh. My God. Okay, strike. But you hear that sizzle? That means they're cooking. Zach, you're dripping all over the ground. Oh my shoes. God. Oh my God. I'm gonna kill you. Okay, let's go check okay, these. Go. Get it over. I'm gonna. You're tipping. It's uh. Can you yeah hose that off, Jordy? Oh my God, Zach. The dogs are gonna be like licking that for a week. A year. Steven, I don't want to spill on you. It smells really nice. Oh. Oh, they're cooking all right. Oh my God. <laughs> that is what I wanted. Now, next step, lather them in barbecue sauce. You know, here's the deal. It might have been a little underwhelming when I initially pulled the foil. Um, I'm really pleased. I didn't expect this one to look any different because it doesn't have any beautiful coloring on it. But this one right here looks just like Zach's good one. But it just looks good because it's red. On the one with the seasoning, I'm doing a little bit of hoisin and sriracha. I'll, let's see, we want about a third cup. <laughs> Make a little more noise. There we are. Fucking a. All right. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Man, when these babies get finished on that grill, let me tell you, I'm going to be eating them. It's all about the figure eight strokes. You know, some may tell me otherwise in the comments, but we're just really lathering these girls up right now. You know, the purpose of this is, so the idea is that the, ri the ribs are cooked. They're finished. We're throwing them on the grill to get a little bit of color. Okay, and this one right here, we're going about, let's see, that much brown sugar. And now we're using about that much barbecue sauce, and then we're using about that much syrup. As mentioned, we don't like to measure. All right, here we go. The famous pour. Wow, okay, here we go, here we go. I said okay, 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 okay. Let me tell you something, that looks gorgeous. Come on. Gorgeous. Come on. Let's go put these bad boys on the grill. Did you make everything more difficult with three racks? Yes. Hey, I've got a family to feed. <laughs> All right. Oh, you're taking that home? What are you doing with yours? He means literally, not metaphorically. Here's the yeah, deal. Lots of ribs. Before we throw them on, quick glimpse at my two racks. And then, hold on. Zach decided to do his lines long ways, which is not in the manual. Come on, let's put them on. Ready? Let's drop these bad boys. Who's going down first? Jordan. Because he has to go to the back of the grail. Well, here's, a, here's the deal. <laughs> Zach. No, come on. to pick his spot. So throw yours down and I'll work around yours. Zach, you go down first. Woo! So it's a little warm in there. Oh, oh yeah. my god, yeah. Okay, you gotta scoot her up, dude. 
Come on. You said you didn't need tongs. Don't touch my don't touch my ribs. Yeah, then wait, scoot you yours up. Put, you said put yours down and I'll work around it. <laughs> I know, but like we need room. Oh, oh. And then this girl goes right here. Oh, see that? Take that ribbon eating, Jordan. She just fell off. Let's wait. set this one aside and we'll oh have a little God. sample, fellas. And we get to use our window. How cool is that? Pretty damn good. You wanna look at it, Zach? Check no. the other side? No? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm gonna wait another couple minutes. Alright. Can you? Well, normally, you would check them just to make sure. Oh, I'm flipping wow. this, bro. Oh. Alright, put my hand right there. Damn. Oh, ladies. Yeah. Ladies! Woo! Alright, come here. Max, I'm gonna flip and then I gotta put some sauce on my bottom half. Oh man, look at those. We weren't lying when we said we had never cooked ribs before, but this is exhilarating. Oh my god. I asked you if you needed tongs, you said no. Oh my god, mine are just falling apart. I gotta take these off right now, I think. And now you're using my tongs and wasting my time. You're mixing all the flavors. Oh my god. Jordan, seriously. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna. This fucking grill is powerful. Jordan, give me the tongs. <laughs> We're going another layer. Maybe another couple of layers. I don't know yet. Let's pull these bad boys. Woo! <laughs> I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. Chili's baby back. Look how happy you are to eat some ribs, huh? Um, beautiful. Off the chain. Jordan, hey, really well done. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of us. Yeah. These look great. I definitely love that color. Can't have a rack of ribs without a ice cold beer. Can't go wrong. Time Let's, to cut these bad boys. If though. we can do it. I mean, that is fall off the bone. That was that skinny little rack, huh? Okay, that's enough. Move yeah, on. Hold on. I'll cut it all down. <laughs> Wow, look at that. Here, we'll just do a quick one right there, and then like one little quick one right there. And oh, then Jordan. I'm gonna wow, bring this, these girls over. Holy smokes, guys. See, we're curving on the bone, oh, which is- looking nice and juicy. Kind of an unexpected little twist, pun intended. Oh, there's gonna be no, need to be another shot all cut up in line like this. Holy. Watch those fingers, Jordan, you're scaring me. Holy. Ooh, nice move, pressing it down. Oh my it's like you're... Come here, hold on. I don't want that one. Oh. Go ahead, Zach. Okay. Holy... You, oh, sorry, Z. Sorry. You, guys you just got just poked by the camera it. wiener. Here, do you want to be poked by the camera wiener, too? <laughs> no. Come here. <laughs> okay. I see. That's a rack of ribs. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Fucking juicy, baby. We got juice. We got juice. We got juice. Thank you, Monument. Come here. We got juice. Come here. Saucy hands. Mm. Let's try these. I'm dying. You know, mid through this uh, this episode, we figured, why compete? We're brothers. Let's just come together over the barbecue and cook ribs for the first time. So here we go. How are we doing this? I'll try yours if you try mine. Ooh. <laughs> okay. So good. I'm gonna go up here first. Well, I like the tenderness. That falls. That's a real this, fall man. off the bone right there. Oh my gosh. Cheers. Cheers. To the first ribs. Mmm. Look at this. Look at how good Jordan did. Look at that. That's what the barbecue does. You don't boil the flavor out of ribs. You bake the flavor into them. Mmm. I want to try that one. These are amazing. Mm. So easy to do. Thank you mm. for watching. Thank you, Monument. We've never made ribs before. Swear to God, that was our first time. Cook Look how your, they turned out. Cook with your brothers. And sisters. Or and anybody. sisters. And friends. This was fun. We had a great time mm. with this episode. Extra big shout out to Monument. We got little Monument necklaces that we will be wearing as we finish off these ribs. Thank you, guys. We love you. See you next time.